right, all right, what's up everyone? We are on our way right now to do a maintenance wash on a ceramic coated car. Uh, and so I wanted to bring you guys along to give you some tips and tricks. Kind of, well, I mean, not even tips and tricks. I just wanted to show you kind of my process, how I do it. And one thing I tell all my clients um, when it comes to their ceramic coated vehicle and there's, you know, they're very worried about uh, how to wash it and how to maintain it because they want the coating to last for as long as possible. So one thing I tell them is that you want to touch the car as least as, uh, as least as you possibly can. And so that's what I'm going to show you today. And that's the benefit of a ceramic coated vehicle is that the car is Whoa, there went my bag. Uh, a ceramic coated vehicle does stay cleaner longer and is easier to clean. Um, and so you can actually, uh, depending on some factors, you know, as long as the car's not, you know, off-roaded in or, or even if it is, there, there are some things that you can do to touch the car a lot less. Uh, and one of those being, a foam cannon so whether you do a foam cannon a garden hose foam cannon or you're doing a pressure washer foam cannon like i'm going to do uh, there's a few different things that you can do to now really make sure you're getting a lot of that dirt off. Now this is my summer washing method. So I do and more recently have switched up my wash method for summer uh, because as the temperature rises um, and it gets hotter out, it's just honestly more efficient for me to do it with a pressure washer and spot free water and all that. So uh, as we get into winter, I know you're laughing because I'm in Orange County, uh, California, but as we get into winter, I probably will switch up to a rinseless method uh, strictly because it's colder out and the cars don't dry as much. So uh, this is going to be my uh, this is going to be my summer wash method. And so here we go. We're we're right around the corner. Let's pull up and do this car, and I'll show you how I do it. All right, getting into the wash, first thing I do after the rims have cooled down is I pre-treat them with an iron remover to start releasing the brake dust. And I'm gonna do a really good initial pre-rinse. After the pre-rinse is done, I'm gonna use a pressure washer foam cannon with the Jimbo Daily sticker right there on it. And that, then I'm gonna foam the whole car. So I've done a pre-rinse, then I'm gonna foam it. This is an SiO2 based uh, foam soap. So I'm going to add a base layer of protection on top of the coating. Again, just a way to maintenance the coating and make it last as long as possible. So I, I would recommend either a wash and wax or an SiO2 infused soap for a ceramic coated vehicle as a maintenance wash. Then I'm going to do a thorough post rinse to get all the soap off. And I'm going to remove the iron remover from the rims. Kind of a cloudy day, so I didn't have to worry about it drying on the rims at all. Um, and as you notice, I did not use any brush at all. So again, as I said in, in the intro, you really want to try to avoid touching the paintwork with anything abrasive as much as possible. That's why I did a good pre-rinse and then a heavy foam, let the foam dwell and then rinse it off. Now, I didn't even dry the car yet. I'm using spot free water, but what I'm doing because I want to avoid touching the paintwork as much as possible is I go directly into the interior. So. As soon as I get to the car, I start on the exterior first because I want it to air dry. Um, again, air drying makes it so that I don't have to touch the paintwork. So once I do the full interior, a vacuum and wipe down. This is my favorite vacuum that you're seeing here. Wipe it down and after I do the interior, then I'll go back for the final wipe down. By that time, the majority of the car has air dried. Again, I don't have to touch it at all. You can use a air compressor, you can use a a leaf blower if you want to speed up the drying process. If you're not using spot free water, I would definitely suggest that so to avoid water spots. And if you are not using spot free water, you're going to want to actually go to the towel dry by using a drying aid. And that's what's coming up right now. I'm actually wiping down the car with Meguiar's D156. That's the synthetic express spray wax. And I'm using it. There's a little drips because it was a it was not a super hot day, so I'm using D156 as I go around the car and wipe it. Again, adding a little bit of protection to the coating, but more importantly, adding a lubricant in between the paintwork and my towel. All the contaminants are off the paint. I didn't use any buckets to wash the car. Um, no two bucket method, nothing like that. I just wanted to avoid touching the car as much as possible. And in fact, this is the first time I've touched the car. And that's my method to maintain a ceramic coated vehicle.